Hi everybody, Greg C. in Tennessee here again with another Timu haul. This is a pretty good one. I've got a bunch of stuff in this one, so let's get started. So let's see, first thing I got, oh, just a quick little thing. This is a holder for your bags. So essentially what this does it's adjustable for different size bags. Okay, so let's see. Got the bag. Let's clip it in like so. And like so. And look at that. It holds it open for you. So you can drop whatever it is in there without having the hassle of the bag giving you a hard time. Interesting little gadget. It's adjustable for different size bags. So if you're using a smaller bag like this, I'm guessing you're going to want this down a little lower like so. There you go. Look at that. Another fantastic thing. And it folds down for easy storage. Obviously without the bag. Cool. And the going price on that one, well... It's over here as usual. <laughs> All right, next item. Okay, we have... These are... I think these are the curtain clips. I'm not sure if these are the ones... Oh, these are the shower curtain clips. Okay, so if I can get the bag open. There we go. Scissors, handy thing. Okay, so what you got here is... A clip with a 3M piece of sticky. Well, it says M3M, so I'm guessing that's definitely a knockoff. <laughs> but you put your sticky on the back there, like so. And then this holds your shower curtain closed. Uh, as I know, unless you got a metal tub, the magnets that come in some of the shower curtains just don't work. There's a little nub in there that actually catches on. You can see it in there. So um, I know we've got little magnets in the bottom of our shower curtain. And the problem is our tub is fiberglass. So <laughs> it doesn't stick. So you can see those little nubs in there. Kind of cool. All right, so it's a four pack, uh, $2.98, just like so. Next item, okay. I've always wanted to try one of these. This is an, one of those, uh, this is a stainless steel soap. Um, I don't know if it works. I'm tempted to get my hand full of onion. I was gonna make some guacamole anyway, so I can get full of onion. Then supposedly, this eliminates all the odors. I don't know. I don't have any odors on my hand right now. I haven't been doing any cooking, so I'll have to try it out and get back to you. Okay, so dollar twenty nine on that. Just like it said. Okay. Um, okay. What is this? Not sure what this is. It's it's a box of something. Let's see what this is. Let me look this up because I don't know what this is. This is I don't know what this is. I didn't order this. <laughs> this is a this is a surprise. I don't silver gray. I don't know what the heck this is. Huh. It's like they throw a surprise in there. I've heard of people getting random things in their orders, so I guess this would be a random thing in my order. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what this is. Oh, wait, I do know what this is. Okay, never mind. It's not rando. This, <laughs> it's just... It's it's in a 
oil soaked um, paper type substance. It's sort of like wax paper, but it's, it's oil soaked. It's, so, um, but what this is, is a whole crap load of number 11 X Acto blades. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get a focus in. There we go. So it's a whole crap load of them. It's a hundred pieces of number 11 X Acto blades. Those of you who uh, do any kind of hobby stuff, uh, you know what number 11 blade is. Uh, it's quite useful for a lot of things. And if you are, I do a lot of model work as uh, you've seen on a couple of my videos. I, those didn't require any number 11s, but some of the other stuff I do does. So number 11s are good to have handy. And now I got a hundred of them right there. So that's what that was. I was a little concerned. Wasn't sure what that was. Okay. So now I know. Cool. Next item. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Another hobby type, hobby item. Uh, this is, it's sometimes called a pin vise. So it's got a little loose end right here. This part's loose right here. So it spins. So you can hold it with one finger and you can spin it with your others while you're drilling. And it comes with a set of drills, like so. There's a bunch of different ones in there. A the little tiny one. That's one I really want. That little tiny one right there. So, um, you just put the drill bit or the, the drill in the pin vise. If I can get one of these out, it would really be helpful. All right. I think I just about got it. There we go. All right. So, you loosen the chuck, like so, and you place the bit in there, supposed supposed to go in. Doesn't seem to want to. I think these drills might be too big for this. Might be too big for this. Um, ah, yes, these smaller dr drill bits are going to be the better ones to go because this doesn't look like it opens up wide enough for the drills that they sent. <laughs> so here, here's a little tiny one. Okay, so there's a little tiny one. And a little tiny one will fit in there. That's the one I needed anyway. Ah, it's a pain in the butt to get them in there, but there we go. Alright, so it fell in. <laughs> it fell inside the drill. That's weird. Oh. oh, 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 I see. Okay. Huh. It's funny I should do that. So, um, it's got a double, double-sided chuck. So to hold the bigger drills on this side, like so, and the smaller ones on that side. Okay. That makes a little more sense. So you can reverse it. Do it like that. Okay, now we got now we're cooking with gas. All right, so you just screw that in there like that, and then when you're gonna drill something, you just hold it like that. That's it's this is for jobs that uh, using a power tool is gonna be too much. Um, sometimes I have projects like that where I just need a little tiny hole and a drill is going to make a big mess. It's going to make a big hole, and I don't want a big hole. So, um, that's that's nice. So, okay, so it's a reversible pin vise, and I guess you just got to be careful when you're doing small bits to hold it this way as you're tightening. Otherwise, it falls inside the shaft of the uh, of the tool, which. Okay, so there it is. It's a pin vise. Double-headed. It should work out just fine for the things I want to do. Perfect. Okay, on to the next. All right. By the way, uh, I forgot the disclaimer. As always, I'm not getting paid by Timu to do these. Uh, I spend my own money. I do have an affiliate link down below. Uh, if you click on it, if you haven't ordered from Timu, you get a $30 uh, discount. 
So, but I don't get paid for this. This is out of my own money. I just buy stuff just to share it with you guys so you can see some of the fun stuff. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Uh, it's no skin off my back. Um, I just like to share it. It's, it's fun. <clears throat> Plus, I check the stuff out and, you know, tell you if it's going to be worth buying. Uh, the stuff's not overly expensive, but... Uh, you know, sometimes you want somebody to check it out before you buy it. So, the next thing is a two-piece curtain rod bracket. Um, these go on the outside of the window, and they hold the curtain bracket like this. It's got an adhesive, so you're not drilling any holes, which is important if you live in an apartment like I do. Um, you want to make sure you're not drilling any holes in the walls, and I have a problem with the uh, tension rods because I can't close the curtains all the way. I have to use something to hold the curtains closed all the way. Otherwise, you get light bleeding in at odd times, and you can't sleep in on a Saturday if you know you got light bleeding in. So, this is a curtain rod holder. You got it's a pack of two, so one on each side of your window, and you just place a little curtain rods in there, and should be good to go. I will check these out and let you know how they work. And that was 98 cents. And I got two packs. 98 cents. All right. So this one is a one-piece silicone can lid soda water silicone thing. So let me go get a can real quick so we can I can give you a demonstration of how this little puppy works. Okay, let's see how this works. I got me a uh, Diet Cola can. <laughs> Diet Cola. And we like the sitcom. So this pops on the top here. Um, yeah, it seems pretty secure. It seems to hold on there pretty good. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, uh, I'm thinking that it'll keep the fizz in there. Let's see if it works on a bigger can. I got a bigger can here of the uh, tea. Let's see. This one's not gonna work, I don't think. This is a non this is your bigger can. Yeah, this isn't it's not gonna work on a bigger can. This is your standard size 12 ounce. Um this is a 22 fluid ounce, so it doesn't work on the 22, but it does work as far as I can tell, on a 12. So there you have it. Um, pack of six of these fun things, for 98 And they come in multiple colors. So, you know, you can differentiate if you drink a lot of soda in your house. Uh, we've got purple, red, orange, green, gray, and blue. So a color for everybody. So if you have friends coming over or something, and uh, or maybe yeah, this would probably be good for outside. Um, cover your can, keep the bugs out. You know, especially in the summer, bees like to um, commit suicide <laughs> and go after the sugars. I mean, this is sugar free, so you know, this probably wouldn't happen with that. But um, good handy little item, and it seems to work so far. I mean, it sits pretty snug on the can there. Huh. I'll have to check that out and let you know. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Uh, oh, okay. So, needed a replacement lid for one of our mugs. A mug similar to this. So, we've got a replacement lid for it. Obviously, I'm going to have to wash it before I use it. Uh, they have a bunch of different sizes, so make sure you get the right size for the um, for the cup that for the cup that you're going to put it on. So, oh, look at that! Fits perfectly. Huh. Uh, so it's a replacement. It's got a looks like a silicone gasket on there. Uh, it's got the little slide. So, open and closed, obviously. Oh, so. Huh. 
So it was a replacement because we had one that failed. Or actually, I think the problem was it was getting like mold up underneath the uh, gasket. Um, if you've had these for a while and you keep liquid in them all the time, they can get mold up under there and it gets pretty nasty. So um, if you don't want to keep cleaning them, buy a new one. A <laughs> uh, new one, uh, $2.98. So, I mean, drop in the bucket. Cheap at twice the price. All right, moving on. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. More stuff for curtains in the apartment. So what this is, these are magnetic curtain holders. So you just wrap them around your curtain and they snap together and hold your curtain. So uh, instead of all the other different things, I mean, there's a lot of curtains come with a tie that you can tie around, but this be even easier. I mean, you can actually loop this around, make it really tight, and go like that. And magnetic, so piece of cake. Yeah, so I got a couple of these. So I'm pretty sure it'll work. I mean, there's no reason why they shouldn't. And those were what were those? Well, the price is right here. Oh, it's it says a strong magnetic curtain. Yeah, it's it's all right. It's not a strong magnet. I've seen stronger magnets, but yeah, it does the job. All right, so that's that. Uh, Three ninety eight. Okay, moving right along. This is a fun thing. <laughs> Look, chiclets. Actually, what this is, it's a bag of a hundred compressed towels it says right there towel so you just get this wet and ooh, i just got some liquid down here anyway you get this wet and it expands oh look it's expanding already got a little bit of water in here put a little water on there look it expands And it just expands. Itty bitty little chiclets. They're good for wiping up a mess that I just made. Yay. <laughs> uh, trying to see how big they are. It looks like about the size of it. Oh, wait. No, oh, they open up even further. Okay, so it's. Like six by six, like a washcloth. But it starts out like this, this little tiny thing, a little compressed thing, and it turns into a six by six little washcloth thing. Uh, I'm guessing they're reusable if you dry them out. But uh, I would think they're more disposable than anything, but uh, they seem pretty sturdy. It's like a terry cloth. Huh. Pretty cool. Uh, these would be good for camping trips, uh, survival, uh, bug out bags, things of that nature. Um, you know, if you're someplace you just don't know when you're going to need a towel, go on a trip someplace, put a couple of these in your pocket or your purse, and you got an emergency towel when you need it. So $5.97 for 100 of them. There's a 100 bag of chiclets. <laughs> Okay, on to the next. Okay, so these, this is a pack of, I think this is, this is supposed to be, oh, these are uh, magic sponges. So it's sort of like the magic eraser. So just a whole bag of magic erasers. It's, uh, I got the 10 pack. So it feels like the magic eraser. So I'm, Pretty certain it's going to work just like it. And for 98 cents, it's a whole lot cheaper than Mr. Clean's Magic Erasers, let me tell you. So, pack of 10, 98 cents. 98 cents. Less than a buck. Come on. You don't buy anything else, buy some of these. Keep, keep your place clean. 
Got a spot on the wall. I need to try that now. Next. Okay, so these are vacuum bags for a vacuum sealer for your food. We do a lot of sealing around here. Um, I wanted to get a smaller roll because there's times when you just want to do something small, like a single hamburger or something. Uh, this would work just fine, I believe. Yeah, it's it's smooth on one side, and it's it's kind of it's got this um, grid on the bottom. So what you do is you put this in your in your vacuum sealer, and the smooth side up because it sucks through the bottom. The vacuum sealer sucks, yeah, literally. Uh, we've had uh, vacuum sealers, uh, the food savers, we've had those for years. So I found these on Timu, and they're like, they've got like five or six different sizes, and the price is a whole lot cheaper. So this one is the five inch, or it's almost six inch, it's 5.91 inches. So it's about six inches wide. Um, it's 118 inches long. I'm not going to unroll it to show you, but uh, it should work just fine. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. I will vacuum seal some stuff and let you know. I also got, what else did I, ooh, I've been waiting for these. I've been looking around for these. I don't know where you can find these. I'm sure there's got to be places around here to sell these, but uh, this is... A round ice cube maker. So, well, technically it wouldn't be an ice cube, it'd be an ice round. Um, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be. I thought they'd be a little bigger, but this will work. Uh, I've been on a kick of drinking old fashions lately. And when you go to the bar, they have round ice cubes that fit in the glass. That's why I thought I thought these were gonna be a little bit bigger. But these will do. So I'll clean these up. I'll make some round ice, round ice balls. And it looks like it's silicone, so I don't see a reason why it shouldn't work. I'll just wash it up real quick. Uh, throw it in the freezer with some water in it, obviously, and make some round ice. Oh no! Drop the drill. All right, so two dollars and forty-seven cents for spherical ice mold. Huh. Okay. So these are for bathroom cleaning. They've got this little thing, disposable thing, that you click on. It's that's got a handle. Um, there's cleaner in here. Basic. This uh, feels like. It almost feels like the uh, Mr. Clean sponges. So I'm thinking there might be some detergent in here. I'm not sure. Um, but this was a whole lot cheaper. It says disinfecting refill. refill. So I'm assuming I don't smell any, any other than the sponge. I'm assuming it would have some sort of something in there to clean your toilet. So I'll have to check these out and see if they work as well as the originals. If not, that's not a big deal. It's four bucks. Three ninety eight for a pack of ten. Ten? Ten, yes, for a pack of ten. And I've got another roll of the vacuum bags. This is the larger roll. This is the uh, uh, this is the eight inch, well, seven point eight seven inches. So you know, pretty much eight inches, and then again, it's one hundred eighteen by eleven or point one one inches long. I'm assuming they measure in centimeters. That's why you get your decimals in there. So essentially, it's eight inches. So as you can see there difference in the size. So, just more bags. What else do we have in the magic bag of tricks? Oh, some more curtain. 
clips. I ordered two sets of those. Beveled pliers, okay. These are tools. I like tools. Beveled pliers. These are good for, it looks like they'll be pretty good for cutting flush. Small wires. I do a lot of work with small wires. And sometimes you just need this little tiny point up here, which just has a very small point. So that should work out just well. Use safety glasses. Okay, Model 170 pliers. These were a lot cheaper than at the store. Buck 97 for that. So if you need to clip wires or I'm, I'm sure you could use this for like jewelry or crafts, other kind of crafts, uh, clipping um, softer metals, you know, like brass. Or, uh, I don't know about brass, but, you know, copper, um, copper wire, yeah, maybe brass wire. You can probably cut brass wire with this. Uh, plastic, obviously. So any number of things. I'm going to use this mainly for very small wires. So buck 97. Let's see what other fun stuff we got in here. Ooh. We got something that I need to use scissors open. This is a meat shredder. A meat shredder. Like that. So what you're supposed to do with this... I don't know if it's going to work. I've got uh, these claw things. Ooh, <laughs> that looks like a medieval torture device. So apparently you put your chick... Ow! <laughs> yeah. Put your chicken right in there, and then it's got the same little pointy things up in there. And you close that on your chicken, and you turn it, and it shreds your chicken. Uh, there's a lot of different types of uh, meals and foods that we use uh, shredded chicken for. Uh, enchiladas is one. We make enchiladas a lot. And shredding the chicken can be a pain. So this will make, hopefully, things a lot easier. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll check this out. I'll let you know if it doesn't work. You, you guys will be the first to know. So the kitchen shredder. Meat shredder. All right, what else have we got in here? Ah, just one more thing for my hobbies. Or, ladies, you can use these too, because these are makeup sponges. So they're just little makeup sponges. I use these to apply a chalk like pastel to. Model trains to give them a weathered look. It's very soft and spongy, so these should work really well. Um, I didn't want to keep using my wife's because she buys them at Walmart and they're a little more expensive. These fun little things were a lot cheaper, obviously, because it's emu. And if I can get my <laughs> get my iPad open, open. I'm trying to open it. There it goes. I can tell you that the sponges were, what were they? Oh, of course I can't find them now. Makeup sponges. Oh, where was that? Oh, makeup sponge, a buck 79. Okay, so there's 24 pieces in here at the buck 79, which is a whole lot cheaper than the stuff you get at Walmart. All right, so there should be one more thing in here, but I'm not seeing it. I'm missing some, something. That doesn't make me happy. Oh, wait. Nope, there it is. Ha, ah, found it. <sighs> Did you ever get a ring that just doesn't fit anymore for the right, for whatever reason? So we've got ring sizers. A bunch of different sizes, so a bunch of different widths and thicknesses of rings. And probably would have been better if I put it on that finger. <laughs> Silly me. 
There we go. There we go. Um, feel almost like a silicone. Oh, it's like a rubbery, rubbery type plastic. So inexpensive ring sizers at uh, eight, eight piece set for a dollar fifty two which is a lot cheaper than going to the jeweler and having him size your ring, especially if it's, you know, due to weight loss or, um, you know, you got the ring as a gift or whatever the case may be. Putting one of these on there would be a lot cheaper than going and getting it sized. In my humble opinion, take it for what it's worth. Well, I got through that pretty quick. Like I said, I'm going to uh, check out a few of these items just to make sure they work. I mean, can't wait to uh, make some old fashions with these suckers. <laughs> uh, then I can have my rum and coke and not go through a whole can of coke. And put my curtains up and shred my chicken. So, and I got my tools, so I can go tool around a little and I got my number 11 blades which can't get the thing to reclose which could be dangerous because they seemed like they were pretty sharp I don't know I haven't checked them yet but uh, they seem seem pretty sharp from what I can tell I'm going to assume they are I just can't get the thing to close again oh well tape I'll just tape it closed so that's it for this episode of Timu Reveal. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you all for being here. Thanks for staying till the end and watching me fumble through all this fun stuff that I got from Timu. And I will talk to you later. Take care.